Hello, my name is Fiona. I'm a certified infant nutrition consultant and today I'm going to show you how to make three easy, healthy and perfectly balanced recipes for your baby when starting solids. Okay, so the first recipe we're going to make is fried banana in coconut oil with hemp seeds. So what we're doing here, we are pairing a carbohydrate, the banana, with a source of healthy fats, the coconut oil, and by sprinkling it with hemp seeds, what we're doing is adding protein. So we have a completely balanced meal with a protein, carbohydrate, and a source of healthy fats. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is start off with a banana. You want to make sure it's a ripe banana. An unripe banana has been known to contribute to constipation. So that's the first thing we want to do. And an easy way to offer banana fingers when introducing solids to your baby, grab your finger and put it towards the tip of the banana. And you could actually just press firmly and the banana splits into a perfect finger size. So you can do that for the other sides, but that's a perfect shape and size for baby led weaning. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is melt some coconut oil in a fry pan and we're going to pan fry the banana in coconut oil just until it caramelizes slightly. So that what we're doing here is we're pairing a carbohydrate, so we've got the banana, with a source of healthy fats, the coconut oil. So when we do that, we actually help balance baby's blood sugars. And with the addition of the hemp seeds, which we'll be sprinkling on top, what you've got is a perfectly balanced meal. So it's sure to sustain baby's um, appetite. It's sure to give them energy and balance their blood sugars. So that, that is the meal ready. This can be offered to baby as finger food or it can be spoon fed to baby because the texture is quite soft. Okay, so the next recipe we're going to make is an apple and pear puree with coconut yogurt. So apple and pear are naturally sweet by nature. So baby's going to love it. And pear is known for its constipation relieving effects. So generally speaking, it's quite common for babies to experience constipation when starting solids. So by introducing pear, we're also helping to alleviate constipation. I'm also choosing to add coconut yogurt as today's source of protein with the apple and pear. Coconut yogurt is a dairy-free option. It's also a fermented food, so it's going to have gut-supporting benefits for baby. And this puree is going to be made and stored in the fridge in this jar from Haka. What we're going to to do is have a layer of the apple and pear puree with coconut yogurt and we're going to continue that layering that way you've just got a nice even layer for baby to to get all the flavors for what i love the most about making baby food in a jar like this is that it provides a portable and mess free option for on the go feeding perfect for busy mothers so typically speaking, most fruit purees are prepared by steaming, but what I'm choosing to do is cook the apple and the pear in the oven. By doing so, it not only adds another flavor dimension to the food, but it allows me to cook the pear and the apple with a source of healthy fats. So in this instance, I'm choosing to add coconut oil as my source of healthy fats. I'm also going to add a little bit of flavor. I'm choosing to add cinnamon. Cinnamon is known for its ability to regulate blood sugar levels. And because it is a source of flavor, we're helping baby to diversify its flavor palette. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is peel and cut the apple and pear and add it to a lined baking tray. I'm then going to go ahead and generously drizzle the apple and pear with coconut oil and the cinnamon and give it a good toss. So we're then going to add the tray to a preheated oven at about 200 degrees Celsius for 20 minutes or so, just until the apple and pear has softened and slightly browned. Okay, so now that that's cooked, we're going to add the apple and pear to a blender and blend until a smooth consistency is formed. Now for the fun part, we are going to take our apple and pear puree and add that to our jars. We are going to then add a layer of coconut yogurt and continue this until we get to the top. Apple and pear puree, layer of coconut yogurt. And that right there is a beautiful apple and pear puree with a coconut yogurt layer. It's completely balanced. It's super nutritious. Baby will surely love this one. And it's just a healthier take on your traditional fruit purees. Okay, so the next recipe we're going to make is a roasted sweet potato puree with thyme and bone broth and liver. Now, this isn't just your standard sweet potato puree. What we're doing, we've got our carbohydrate, our sweet potato, which is our source of carbohydrates. It's also a rich source of vitamin A, but what we're doing is we're going to roast it in coconut oil. 
And what I'm also choosing to do with this sweet potato puree is add flavor. I'm choosing dried thyme. This can be fresh or dried herbs, and it can be any flavor combination you wish, really. But when we introduce flavor to baby at a young age, we help foster a diverse flavor palette. First things first, we're going to peel and roughly chop up our sweet potato. We're going to put that on a lined baking tray and drizzle that with melted coconut oil and the dried thyme that we're using for flavor. So we're going to add that to a preheated oven at around 200 degrees Celsius and we're going to allow it to cook for about 20 to 30 minutes just until it's softened and slightly browned. Now I'm also going to add two of my favorite products by Nourish Nutrition. It's the Bone Broth Powder and the Meal Booster. Bone Broth provides gut supporting benefits. It helps baby's digestion and immune health. Freeze-dried liver is a beautiful, rich source of iron. Babies require more iron than an adult male during the ages of six to 12 months. So it's an essential nutrient for baby's needs when starting solids. Because it's powder, we're going to add this to water. We're going to allow it to dissolve and then add that to our sweet potato as a thinning liquid when pureeing the product. And what I love the most about this recipe is you can batch make the puree and then store it in some freezer friendly storage trays. I'm using these ones from Haka. They're the perfect, perfect depth and they also come with a lid. So it's perfect to store in the freezer, ready to grab, heat and eat. A perfectly balanced and healthy puree for your baby when starting solids. So that's a bye for now. Thanks so much for following along. Let me know in the comments below if you make the recipe and don't forget to follow me on Instagram and also follow Haka.